Hey guys, uh, so let's take a look on this screenshot. We have uh, three breaths here. This is number one, number two, and number three. This is happening in ABV CMV mode of ventilation, which is adaptive pressure ventilation, control mode of ventilation. The tidal volume is targeted at 500 milliliter. Let's take a look on the first breath here. It seems that this is machine triggered or time triggered. Once the machine is triggered, it gave the pressure that is determined based on the feedback mechanism from the uh, previous breath. You can see that this is around six or seven centimeter of water above the peep level. With this pressure, we can see the inspiratory flow here, the area under the curve is the tidal volume. I don't have a tidal volume number here, but seems to be around uh, 500. The next breath here is patient triggered, is indicated by the negative deflection here and by the pink arrow here. This is the pressure that was given by the machine, but notice that the flow is higher and the area under the curve is higher than the previous one. So this tidal volume is much higher than the previous tidal volume. And notice that there is no expiratory flow here. So this is the first breath, and then next breath occurred before exhalation happened. So that means we have this tidal volume, if we assume that this is around 500, because the targeted tidal volume is around 500, could be less though, but I'm just assuming that it is 500. The next one would be, it looks like it would be probably 800 or 900. So this is much larger tidal volume compared to this one and happening with this pressure, which is not much different than this pressure, which indicates that there is inspiratory effort by the patient. This would not have happened without inspiratory effort by the patient. So he initiated the breath here, but he continued to breathe and the intrathoracic pressure is much lower. So the transpulmonary pressure, which is the trachea pressure, minus the intrathoracic pressure, is the pressure deter uh, responsible to deliver that tidal volume. Now the trick, what happened next? You can see that this is another breath which is initiated by the patient. Did he exhale? No. You don't see expiratory flow here. There is no exhalation. So this is the third breath occurring in a row after number one, number two, and then number three. And the patient initiated this breath. What happened next? There is inspiratory flow, but it is very minimal inspiratory flow. And inspiration stops here. So this is only the period of the inspiration that was initiated by the patient. So I do not know if this is actually continuation of the same thing, which is double triggering, which is most likely, and the inspiration ended at this point. And why do I know that it's ended? Inspiration of the patient or the inspiratory effort of the patient ended at this point. How do I know this? Take a look on the pressure. The pressure increased. Why the pressure increased here at the end of inspiration? You can see here, the, <coughs> I'm sorry, this, the flow is zero. So this is like a plateau. So how come the pressure goes up? It's because patient stopped breathing. So this is the pressure that you use here to deliver this tidal volume. To keep this tidal volume plus this tidal volume plus this one here, this small tidal volume that we have here, we need much higher pressure if the patient was not breathing. So this is like a plateau and during this plateau, the pressure increased because we need to keep this tidal volume, this one, and this one. So we're talking about 500 here, 800 or 900 here, and probably 150 or 200 here. This is the tidal volume that we have in the lung right now. And of course, we need a prolonged expiration after that. So expiration occurred here. This is time cycled, time cycled. So after the time is elapsed, pressure is released, and this is expiration. You can see this is expiratory flow, 
and it takes a long time before you exhale everything. So the area under the curve here in this exhalation would equal the area under the curve in this breath plus this breath plus this breath. So it looks like we have three stacked breaths. This is the first one machine triggered. We have 500 inside the lungs. Another breath occurred here, no exhalation. So this is stacked over this one. Another 900 almost on top of 500. So we have total of 1400. And then no exhalation here. This third breath occurred because of inspiratory effort of the patient that was continued till around this time here. So this is one inspiratory effort by the patient it triggered the ventilator twice. So this is double triggering after a machine triggered breath. And in this one, we have another 200 added to the 1400. So we have total of 1600 ml inside the lungs. At this point here, we have zero flow that is plateau. Patient is not breathing anymore. The pressure goes up. This pressure is the pressure required to keep 1,600 ml of tidal volume inside the lungs. And then expiration starts here. This is the expiratory phase. It looks like this patient exhaled around 1,600 ml in this expiration. And that's all what I have. Thank you.